Hello, today we embark on an exciting journey back in time to explore the sitcom Ever Decreasing Circles. I'm sure many of you have fond memories of this classic show. Ever Decreasing Circles is a timeless gem that has left indelible mark on television history. Join us as we relive the magic, revisiting those with the entire cast of then and now. We will explore the names and initial ages of the talented actors on the show and witness their transformation in 2024. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of ever decreasing circles. Ronnie Stevens was born in 1925 in the sitcom he plays Tommy Cooper. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 59, and sadly he passed away on November 11, 2006, at the age of 81. hold up my arms any longer. You and your arms are becoming the be-all and end-all of everything. That's... Yes, I heard. Don't want to block the old escutcheon after 35 years. <laughs> escutcheon? A driving license. No, quite. Peter Egan was born in 1946 in the sitcom he plays Paul Raymond. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38, and now he's 77. Oh, it doesn't matter. He's on all of them. <laughs> there you are. Nothing avant-garde there. What do you think? They've changed so much. Absolutely, yeah. 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 It's, but it's only been since the 50s, really, it's got, mm. it got um, easier. No, that's true, it? that's true. Yeah, yeah. And the whole sort of Downton experience, because... John Chalice was born in 1942 in the sitcom he plays Minton and Span. In 1987, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45, and sadly he passed away on September 17, 2021, at 79. You done to my carpet? I'll cut a lump off. <laughs> it doesn't come flush to the partition. Yes, because I'll cut too much off. <laughs> sort of a uh, couple of times a year we do a convention and a lot of the cast uh, meet up then and uh, sort of do, do a bit of a catch up, you know, and uh, we. Timothy Bateson was born in 1926 in the sitcom he plays Lawrence. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 58, and sadly he passed away on September 15, 2009, at the age of 83. I, uh, I just found my finger in the air. Yeah, and I just found myself walking back to the pavilion. I can't change the course of history. Look, just... we all know what we're talking about. You are the sole beneficiary if Mrs. Barton dies. So? Well, the first I've heard of that. If she... Richard Breers was born in 1934 in the sitcom he plays Martin Bryce. In 1984, when he joined the sitcom, he was 50 years old, and sadly he passed away on February 17, 2013, at the age of 79. Think being gas set him off. <laughs> Paul, his name is. Reminds me very much of a boy we had at school. Came two years old the hell out of this awful little man. And they suddenly thought, well, why don't we write a, a, a sitcom about an officious little man who's got several skins. Anne Davies was born in 1934. In the sitcom, she plays Mrs. Ripper. In 1987, when she was in the sitcom, she was 53, and sadly she passed away on April 22, 2022, at the age of 87. Doesn't matter. I've been feeling rotten about it, particularly as I subsequently discovered that they're taking half your office away. At the Open University, we started that when our, our children um, grew up. Uh, she said, oh God, what am I going to do now? John's going away as well. That was her. Penelope Walton was born in 1946 in the sitcom he plays Anne Bryce. In 1984, when she was in the sitcom, she was 38 and now she's 77. Well, nothing else on, you won't let me help you. Now, all I said was that I could manage the housework on my own and that you might like to find something else to do. What shall I do then? Idea. Yes. Yes. With a QR code. Right. So you just put your phone against it and all these charities can come up and help you. I was just thinking of your last... Yeah, your last... Jodie Newman was born in 1934. In the sitcom she plays Hilda Hughes. In 1984, when she was in the sitcom, she was 50 years old, and now she's 90 years old. Now, I tried to get them to take it back, but this man with butterflies tattooed on his knuckles said, once it's touched the ground... James Wilde was born in 1927. In the sitcom, he plays Archie. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 59, and sadly he passed away on June 24, 2012, at the age of 84. Cats and bags, you see, can't be let out. 
Should I go home and wait for a letter? No, I was generalizing. I got stuff in here at the Buddha. Stanley LeBon was born in 1934 in the sitcom he plays Howard Hughes. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 50 years old, and sadly he passed away on November 22nd, 2014, at the age of 80. Leon Lissac was born in 1939 in the sitcom he plays Mr. X. In 1984, when he was in the sitcom, he was 45, and sadly he passed away on January 13, 2022, at the age of 82. <laughs> Gabrielle Day was born in 1911. In the sitcom, she played Mrs. Bismore. In 1984, when she was in the sitcom, she was 73, and sadly she passed away on January 5th, 2005, at 93. ...one and put his jaw out. Do you know he couldn't take solid food for six weeks? Anyway, I'd sooner help with the tea. Oh, it's ages. Peter Blake was born in 1946. In the sitcom, he plays Rex Tiernan. In 1986, when he was in the sitcom, he was 38, and sadly he passed away on July 21st, 2018, at the age of 69. A prized prune that he is. Thinks the girl's been there all night. But she hadn't. I <laughs> know, oh that's the whole cleverness of the thing. When we reflect on the incredible journey of ever-decreasing circles that took place between 1984 and 1989, witnessing their growth and transformation, we can see that the connections from those years has left a lasting legacy. Their story continues to resonate with fans around the world. And as always, show some love, hit the like button, subscribe for more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content.